Hey, this is Frozen Fox here. I'm showing you some uh, basic tips when you're going through a dungeon in Mabinogi. So, first thing you do is drop something on the uh, floor. And it will bring it to your own dungeon. If it's... If a window pops up and says that you've already... That there's somebody already in there... Leave, basically, because you don't want to interrupt their dungeon. First thing you do inside the dungeon, touch the statue. That way, if you die, you'll be able to go right back to the statue instead of uh, having to start way at the start of the dungeon. And you should definitely charge a skill right when you get in there. Because once you get in there, you'll have the upper hand on the opponent. Link all your skills together, don't let them get a chance to get an attack in. And uh, through here, I'll be showing you some of the moves that beat the other moves. As you can see there, Windmill beats Counterattack. Also, that's uh, an N plus windmill, where you hit them once and then windmill really good against uh, enemies with heavy standard. Also, when you're using defense, you want to keep as close to your enemy as possible, because if they're going to charge a skill, you can cancel it and attack them right away, Or and it also makes them uh, want to attack you. Um, if you can see a hallway, it's way too long. Just, uh, if you have a horse who can just jump on and run all the way there. It's, uh, really effective if you can see the map like I can. Some of the floors, if they're too small, they'll show you the whole map. Here's an orb. When you hit one, it will either open the door or spawn a bunch of enemies. In this case, it spawned the enemies. So, basic clearing room. Chain attacks together. If they have enough time to uh, show the exclamation marks before you attack them, you're usually doing it too slow, but it also depends on the type of spawn. For goblins like this, they're really easy, so just kill them as fast as possible get to the next uh, spawn of monsters. Ice counter is a really effective technique. Basically what you see here, you shoot them with ice and then turn on counterattack. Usually people prefer fire counter, but uh, I think it works. I think ice counter is a lot better. And of course, um, the last orb will open the door. Sometimes it's the first one. One of them will. Anyways, ice counter is a lot better, but on something with mana refractor, it just won't work. So you gotta use fire. You'll see that later on. So, make sure you're tip-top when you uh, go to the next room. And... Here's a little uh, break for you. I'll show you final hit. Um, final hit, you get it after you finish a certain quest in the area. True Purpose of the Twin Sword, it's called. And with one-handed weapon, you'll hit people away every time. And with two-handed weapon, you'll slash continuously. Don't forget to touch a statue. Anyways. Sometimes the first orb does it. So, if that happens, good on you. Now, here's a little test. I'm going to put up annotations. You tell me which one is the mimic. The Mimic is the one that turns into a monster when you open it. Yep, the chest is the right one. It's easy to tell, because when you zoom in onto the Mimic, you can see through it, and you can see the teeth, and sometimes the eyes. So we'll just continue on here. See, we've got imps here. Imps are pretty difficult to deal with because they've got a magic attack. Basically what you want to do is if you hit a monster and then shoot it with an ice bolt, almost every time it will run right at you. So what you want to do is smash it or combo it and then shoot an ice at it and then counter because it will run right at you and hit that counter. Windmill right in the wall, it's the best move, smash mill. 
Windmill and smash. Blam. Dead. You can continue doing that, chaining windmill and smash until they're dead. It works really well on golems in the uh, Sierra Dungeon. Here's a room full of archers. Archers, they multiple aggro. They'll all attack you at once, and that's just not good. So what I usually do is I stand in the corner furthest away from them, and I pick them off with, off with ice. Um, if you charge one ice bolt and shoot it, it'll take more mana than if you charge all five, shoot one, and then charge it again. Just a little tip there, if you want to hold on to your mana the whole time. And on the last few, you might as well just shoot the rest of your ice, because you might not be using it, and if you have to cancel it for another attack, it'll be a waste. So here we got a bunch of mimics, a bunch of goblins. Just flawlessly chaining together attacks will keep you safe in any situation. Defense and windmill work really well for this. So you, use, you can use defense to walk around, so you can find a better place to windmill. And it also keeps your uh, keeps your defense up in case an incoming attack uh, happens to come across you. And we'll do the little check again. That would be a mimic. You can see the teeth, so we're gonna windmill it. There you go. Windmill is the best way to start a mimic, um, especially if your windmill rank is really high. So you can windmill defense, sometimes it will attack you, and sometimes it will charge defense itself. So, be ready in both situations. And, uh, a great way to fight is by using your pet to help you out. Some people with multiple pets, uh, on a boss, so usually golems, they, uh, they send one pet in to smash it, and then call it back. <laughs> Don't sit while you're while your pet is fighting, it will sit with you. So they'll send in one pet to fight, and then they'll call it back and send in another pet. They call it Pet Revolver. It's really effective, but I only have one pet, so it won't work. You can just skip these if you want. If the monsters are already spawned, you don't need to do the room. Anyways, we're running out of time, so I'm going to see you in the next video. See you later.